uh, uh, that's a very big bloke in front of her, I don't think. Uh, Megan, Martin Brundle from British Television. How are you? Megan the Stallion, you're a freestyle rapper. Have you got any rap for us today on Formula One? <laughs> I have no rap today, I'm sorry. Uh, who, are you support? who are you supporting in the race? Uh, I can do that, because I did. Celebrities are ruining Formula One. They come into our sport and act like they own the place, with bodyguards and entourages acting like they're too good to be there. Okay, not every celebrity is like that. Some have an actual interest in the sport, like Gordon Ramsay providing good insight into the upcoming race. But then there's the ones that are just there for the money or marketing. Martin Brundle has been doing his pre-race grid walk since 1997, where he typically goes up to any celebrities on the grid and interviews them. Usually, celebrities will play along, answering his questions and giving us fans some entertainment. And really, that's the least they can do. I mean, they're privileged enough to be on the F1 grid pre-race. Many lifelong fans would do anything to have this opportunity, to be able to see the team's pre-race preparations and all the cars up close. So when Martin Brundle approached Megan Thee Stallion and was brushed away by her entourage, it was no wonder so many fans were outraged. So why do we have celebrities on the grid in the first place? Well, it all comes down to publicity and money. If a celebrity posts just one picture of them at an F1 race, it creates a lot of hype around the event and can draw in more viewers and more money. But when they won't even speak, to F1 legend Martin Brundle, do we even need them at all? Well, yes, because of all the publicity they bring in. But some things have to change. Firstly, only allow celebrities that actually have an interest in F1. It was clear Megan Thee Stallion didn't care about the race, but someone like Gordon Ramsay or Rowan Atkinson, celebrities actually enjoying the experiences and that are there because they want to be. Secondly, and this is something F1 have introduced going forward, no bodyguards on the grid. Why did they even need bodyguards in the first place? Formula One is about the cars, the drivers, the teams, and the race. It's not about outside celebrities that think they're too good for our sport. If you don't share the same interest and love for F1 that us fans do, you shouldn't have the privilege to be there in the first place. And if you are, the very least you can do is show a bit of respect.